Hi guys, on this video we're going to talk about solving inequalities. So previously we've written them, we have graphed them, now we're going to start solving them. Um, if you remember from last year, solving inequalities is actually really, really similar to solving equations and that's why we did those last couple problems as reviewed today in class. So in your notes, go ahead and write the title here, 4.2 and so on, and you can put the date. And then go ahead and write down example one. Pause the video if you need to. So the first one says solve x minus 5 is less than negative 3. Graph the solution. Okay, so we've got x minus 5 is less than negative 3. What we have to do is get x by itself. So it's just like before where you've got one side and the other side. It's just that instead of an equal sign, we have a less than sign. Well, in order to get x by itself, I need to move the 5 over. I see that the 5 is being subtracted, so I have to add 5 to both sides. When I do that, I get x, still less than, and then negative 3 plus 5 right here, negative 3 plus 5 is 2. So here's my answer, x is less than 2. However, for inequalities, you have to give the answer like that, but you also need to graph it if it says to graph it, and this one does. So now I'm going to go ahead and draw a number line. And let's see, I'll do 0, 1, 2, 3, I guess. Um, now I know it goes on the 2. It's less than, so that's an open circle. <clears throat> and then since it's less than, it goes to the left. Let me do this a different color. So you can see this is my answer here. Okay, so I did the problem. I wrote that down and then I graphed it. What I'd like you to do now is pause the video and try these two and then press play and check your work versus mine. Make sure you also write down the problems, not just the answers. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Um, on this first one over here, to get y by itself, I need to add 6. When I do that, I get y is greater than negative 7 plus 6 is negative 1. And then I'm going to go ahead and graph it. I'll do a negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1. Now it's an open circle, and it says greater than, so it's going this way. Okay, so that's my answer to number 1. Let's look at number 2. Now even though the z is on the right, we still basically do the same thing. I have to get z by itself, so I'm going to add 1 fourth to both sides, right, because it says minus 1 fourth, so I do plus 1 fourth. So that gives me a z on this side, this sign is still here, and then if I do negative a half plus a fourth, I get negative 1 fourth. Okay, so that's my answer. Now here's where you need to be a smidge careful. When you are graphing this, I'm going to, um, I'm just going to do this. When you're graphing this, the first thing is, obviously, it's an open circle, and it's right about here. But notice this says negative 1 fourth is greater than z. It doesn't say z is greater than negative 1 fourth. It says negative 1 fourth is greater than z. So if we read this right to left, let's start with the letter. This says z is less than negative 1 fourth, right? If we read it like, like Hebrew, okay? If we read it from right to left, starting with the letter, it says it like that. So that's actually going to go this way. Okay, so make sure your work matches mine. And let's go ahead and move on to the next one. This one says solve 13 is less than or equal to x plus 14. Okay, well, let me just rewrite it down here so I have some room. Go ahead and copy this one over. I need to get x by itself. So same idea. It says plus 14. I'm going to go ahead and do minus 14. That gives me an x over here. That gives me this symbol still here. 13 minus 14 is negative 1. Now notice the x is on the right. So same thing, we need to be a little careful. Let's go ahead and graph this one. I'm going to do negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1. OK, I know that there is a closed circle on negative 1. Now, just to be sure, I want to start with the letter when I'm reading. So this one's going to go right to left. x is greater than, right, or equal to, negative 1. I'm not saying you have to write these words. I'm just showing you what I'm thinking. 
Okay, so that says x is greater than or equal to negative 1. So that means it's going this way. All right, so to get credit for this problem, you would have to have this, and then you would have to have this. We have both answers, okay? You guys go ahead and pause the video here, try these two, and then press play and check your answers. So over here, we want to get w by itself, so we're going to go ahead and add 7. That gives us w is less than or equal to negative 3. And when I graph that, I get a closed circle on negative 3, and it's less than, so I'm going this way. And that's my answer. Okay, let's look at number 4. Number 4, I have to get d by itself, so I'm going to add 10 to both sides. That's going to give me 2.5 over here and d over here. Now we have to be careful, the d is on the right, so let's start reading it with the letter. D is less than or equal to 2.5. So that means I've got a closed circle on 2.5. It says D is less than or equal to, so it's going this way. Okay, so that's what the answers are. Check your work. We're going to do one more kind of problem, and that's a word problem. So this says a person can be no taller than 6.25 feet to become an astronaut pilot for NASA. Your friend is 5.75 feet tall. Write and solve an inequality that represents how much your friend can grow and still meet the requirement. All right, so what I want to do first is just kind of point out some important information in this problem. I'm going to use a highlighter. Obviously, we need the numbers. And then we also um, need some kind of words to tell us what kind of inequality to use. And I see no taller than. So that's going to be important as well. Um, let's uh, use x as a variable. Now, you can't be any taller than 6.25. So I'm going to put the 6.25 over here. Your friend is 5.75 feet tall. So that means your friend can grow a bit but can't go over 6.25. So you notice the question's asking to solve something that represents how much your friend can grow. Whatever the question is, that's the variable. So x equals how much your friend can grow. All right, well in that case, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna move this x over. Your friend is already this much. He can grow this much, we don't know, this much x, but he can't be taller than 6.25. No taller than is going to look like this. Okay, so I have current height, the growth, which we don't know, and then the limit right here. Okay, if we go ahead and solve this, We'll subtract 5.75 over here, right, because we're getting x by itself, and that's going to give us x is less than 0.5. Okay, this one doesn't say graphs. So you don't have to graph this one, but that's going to be our answer. All right, so you guys go ahead and try this one, pause it here, and do this one, and then check it. Okay, so let's take a look. <clears throat> a small plane, sorry, that should say plane, can hold 44 passengers. Okay, I'm just going to highlight this. 15 passengers board the plane. Write and solve an inequality that represents the additional number of passengers that can board the plane. All right, well, same thing as before. We need to know how many passengers can board the plane. So that's what the variable is going to be. Well, let's see. Um, it can hold 44 passengers maximum, so that's going to go over here. 15 are already on the plane. The variable is how many more can get on. Well, 15 are already, already on there. We don't know how many more can get on. Now, this represents the people on the plane. 
this represents the maximum. So think to yourself, what kind of sign do I need to use here? Is it going to be less than? Is it going to be greater than? Does it need an equal? Well, if it says it can hold 44, it could be equal to 44, but it can't go over 44. So we're going to use that symbol right there. Okay, now we're ready to solve this. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 15 from both sides. And I get x is less than or equal to 29. So that means 29 people can board the plane, 28 people can board the plane, 27. Anything really under 29 can board the plane, but if 30 board the plane, there's too many people. And that's why it has to be less than or equal to 29. Okay, thanks guys. Um, go ahead and check over your notes and feel free to rewind and rewatch any parts of the video that you need to. And we'll practice this in class tomorrow.